It's been nearly nine months since the Malaysian Movement Control Order, known also as the MCO, came into effect as a result of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. For this episode, industry leaders will discuss the MCO's impact on the fund management industry. I would say that at the very initial stage, when the Malaysia imposed a lockdown, and subsequently, I would say that globally, we also see that globally, most government follow suit. And uh, we do see some panic um, profit taking in the market. And uh, that lasted only nearly about two to three weeks. Indeed, right after that, we, suddenly, we start to see investors slowly return to the market and buy and invest on deep. So indeed, we actually see our market being very resilient and there is no major setback at all. The industry players have made a quick adjustment of their business strategy while devising new SOPs uh, to ensure uh, employee safety and well-being during the pandemic. So it was uh, very challenging to work from home and at the same time ensure cyber security risk uh, could be mitigated. So crisis creates opportunity. We have seen a lot of uh, interactive platforms uh, educating the investor to take advantage of the market corrections. This is a good chance for investor education program of which the industry players have also uh, grabbed the opportunity to elevate the concern of the unit holders on temporary unrealized losses of their uh, investment portfolio, encourage unit holders to stay invested, adopt uh, the longer investment horizon and uh, practice dollar cost averaging alongside the market now. So the turmoil also demonstrates the value of active fund managers who are tested on their skills to weather through the financial storm and work harder to safeguard the investment asset during these turbulent times. Unique trust funds are diversified portfolios capable of withstanding the impact from market turmoil in the long run. So we think that this turmoil has made many investors become more investment savvy. This is good for the Malaysian UTS and PRS industry and we see many investors have more confidence now uh, towards the market rebound and they invest selectively when the timing is right. The rapidness of uh, implementation of digitalization in the uh, unit trust uh, capital market, uh, especially where I think there have always been a, a lot of setback in going digital, taking the consideration, you know, people are not ready, investors, uh, you know, you have the demographic of those who are above uh, 40 and 50 uh, and uh, the uh, insecurity of the internet, the network. Uh, but uh, fortunately for us, I, I see the challenges and opportunity and the rapidness of how we move into digitalization in March and now uh, has been very tremendous. To summarize, the MCO spurred digitalization within the industry as remote working became a necessity. The industry saw a big sell-off at the beginning of the MCO, but this didn't last long as investors re-entered the market at the bottom.